Hey, what's up everybody? How you doing? Welcome back to Carpo Gaming and another Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom video. Today we have another cool guy for you. We're going after a legendary cap, the Cap of Time. And I'll show you exactly where you need to go in order to pick this up today. So let's go! Once again, thanks for watching everybody. Without further ado, let's just jump right into it. This one can be quite some time to get it. We are pretty much where we need to be, all the way down in the depths, right? There's a light route right here. We're going to be making our way to get our cap from this location. But in order to get here, you want to make your way first to the Renekit Shrine, and then there's a chasm right next to it. You want to go from each one of these light routes to light route to get to where I am located at, right? It's quite a trek, but if you use a hot air balloon, get tight in the air, and then just fly down, you can see a whole lot of the map right it's lit up and you can see the light roots that's what i would do in order to get here now we're going to make our way over here to where these lava pits are at you can kind of see it from this light route just turn around and you can see the lava coming down that's actually where we need to go so we're going to make our way over there and we're going to go get our lovely cap now let's do this we're going to make our way over there and get this cap there's plenty of ways to get over there of course but if i was you i would use hot air balloons it definitely helps there's a nice little spot over here where there are some materials where you can craft one at. But if you have auto build, you can just use auto build as well. I have one with some rockets on it to help kind of boost me up halfway in here. It will take you quite some time to get up there, you know, maybe like two, three minutes just because it's super slow. So definitely attach some rockets to it and it'll save you some time, right? But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna go ahead and, and, and cut it out from right here because literally it takes me about another minute to get to the height that I want to be, right? But we're right here at this lava pit, exactly where we need to be in the Hammer Mountains. And right here, sitting on top of this little mountain range will be our chest. And inside of that chest will be our cap. So here I am right here. You know, there's also a way you can come from the bottom and work your way all the way up and then float down just in case you, you're doing it from the other side. So there's plenty of ways to get over here. But uh, yeah, make your way over here, open up this chest and inside of that chest will be, ta-da, the cap of time, nice. So boom, there you have it, my dude. That's how you're gonna get the cap of time in Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. You should have the whole set. I'll show you how to get the cap, the tunic, and of course the trousers. Now get out there and have some fun. But for right now, that's pretty much it for the video. I hope you truly enjoyed it. As always, if you're new to the channel, how you doing? And welcome. And don't forget to subscribe right here at Carpool Game. Upload a wide variety of videos, range from updates, tips and tricks, guides and news, and a whole lot more. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you everybody for all your love and support. And as always, I'll be seeing y'all in the next one.